During lockdown, it hasn't been uncommon to splurge on some online shopping, only to discover when the goods arrive that they're not quite what you expected. Russia's biggest e-commerce company has built an empire around solving this problem, and now it's looking to set up shop beyond its borders. Miranda Lin explains. It sounds counterintuitive for an e-commerce website to be based around brick-and-mortar stores. But that's exactly how Wildberries became the leading online retailer in Russia. It offers customers the ease of browsing online, combined with the security of trying out the items before making a final payment. I often order things through Wildberries, not only for myself, but also for my children and my husband. We come here, we see if things fit, and we keep what we Today, I ordered children's books, orthopedic slippers, and some washing powder. It's very convenient that all those different things can be ordered in one. Former teacher Tatiana Bakalchuk founded Wild Berries in 2004 as a side project during her maternity leave. It quickly resonated with other mothers looking for an efficient way to make their purchases for the whole family. 70% of the site's customers are still female. And now Bakalchuk is the richest woman in Russia, according to Forbes' magazine, with an estimated net worth of $12.7 billion. And Wildberries is still growing. In 2020, the company doubled its orders from the previous year to almost 1.6 million purchases a day as people stayed home during the pandemic. Sales surged by 74% to $6 billion. Because restrictions were introduced for people over 55 years old and the elderly who are forced to stay at home, our client portfolio has diversified. Like many successful Russian firms, Wild Berries has expanded to former Soviet countries. There are 9,200 pickup locations in the region. But unlike most of its Russian peers, Wild Berries has also set its sights on the Western European market. It recently launched in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, but is keeping its Russian flavor. The particularity of the Wildberries website is that it features both large international European brands and brands that are produced only in Russia. As Wildberries spreads further, it will face more competition. Global leaders like Amazon and Alibaba are already well established across Europe, and more rivals are emerging. But Wildberries believes its innovation to stick to stores We'll put it at the front of the line. Miranda Lynn, TRT World.